CBS News Miami is tracking the tropics. Colleges and universities in Tallahassee have shut down for the rest of the week, giving students an opportunity to prepare for any possible impacts from Helene. While some students are leaving the capital city, others are choosing to stay put. CBS News Miami's Tony Francois spoke to one of them, Tanya. She's a senior at Florida Agricultural and Mechanical University, and she says the eight-hour drive to come home isn't worth it for her. Jaden lives in a townhouse apartment surrounded by trees in Tallahassee. She already has some canned goods, but plans on doing more shopping before Thursday. Being a South Florida native, she's no stranger to hurricanes and says she knows exactly how to prepare. This would be Jaden's third storm since being a college student. She says the worst she's had to deal with so far is being without power for a few days. But the Miami native says she's planning to have some friends over so that all of them can ride this storm out together. So far, I'm just hearing that when it lands, it's going to be a category three. So pretty intense, especially for Tallahassee, who's like, it's not built for storms. So power might go out. We might get some power lines down. Hopefully not too bad, but I am prepared. <laughs> Now, I asked Jaden about driving down to Miami, and she explained that it's two hours there, two hours to come back, and she's expecting a lot of traffic, so it can take even longer. She says for her, it's just smarter to stay hunkered down. In the newsroom, Tanya Francois, CBS News, Miami.